I'm Jumbo, good Monday morning, and welcome to video one of the Roll Taylor series. And today we are going to look at creating the navigation bar and the navigation menu. So today we are going to look at those two items. So when creating a roll center page, you use the page snippet and you choose the type to be roll center i have already created the page and i'll call um it the system admin role center and uh, the first thing that you should do while creating a role center is to make sure that you understand the role that the user will be performing make sure that it is so clear to you that this is the role that the user will be uh, performing. And that is the biggest work because in royal tailoring, we are making the experience to be uh, relative to the user. You're trying to make um, the user as comfortable as possible to enable them save time and work a little bit faster. You're tailoring the system to their experience that they should use. And uh, when creating, the area that defines the navigation bar, okay, the layout defines uh, the layout area, the center area, like this area, but uh, the area of creation doesn't define the navigation bar. It defines the area right after the navigation menu. Now, in the area of sections, that's where the navigation bar is defined. So I can even comment it. Navigation bar defined here and embedding we have the navigation menu so the sections we can have several groups you can call this a group just to define the first group and uh, since group is a keyword i'll just use it in quotes so that it can it's not seen as a keyword and in the first group i can call it group one if i want or just group Group one for the area of sections. Since is the system admin, I want my group to have the caption of user because I will be having uniqueness. I am trying to avoid using users and user because I need to have unique values for each group name. So having group one under this section is easier to identify, and the section will be user. I prefer having the same name for the section and the name of the object. I run the page. What's happening? There are no suggestions because of this. So that's the page that I should run under the first group. Remember, you can have a nested group under the group you can have another group for user which will have actions that are related to the user so that's also an option for having uh, you can have a nested group that will have a drop down so in the navigation bar this navigation bar in the order of importance we display the most important actions so for me i believe the system admin needs to have the users and user time registers in the order of importance i can even add it here as the second item uh, user time registers and finally they need to have user groups permission sets and user groups Uh, permission set and the user groups. Permission sets and the user groups. Remember, we should define the ap application area of the role center to enable the display of this particular role center. If you don't display the application area of the role center, the user the role center will not be able you'll not be able to see it on the front end or these uh values will not be able to see so for mine it will be having 
will have uh, uh, <coughs> basic and suit the application areas enables us to pre to uh, determine the user experience that the user will have in the application for the different modules they can be you can define custom application areas but you have basic suit jobs fix assets those are the most common application areas for this one we'll have you basic and suit what's happening here this act top action hasn't been closed for so we can close that group for there we only have one group in this we can add another group that will be a nested group just to see the functionality of a group that is nested uh, i'll have it as group two and then I'll have another group here. Uh, let me give it a caption. The caption will be workflows. And then another, I have another group now will be with the workflow caption, and then the group will have now action. Well, let's forget the semicolon. So the first action for the group. We are trying to look at uh, the workflow user group. Come on, user group, which again will have uh, will run the page of workflow user groups. Workflow user group. Where is the page? Workflow user groups. Supposed to be user groups or user group? I think both user group. The user group is the one that has the okay, we'll know. This one that has the page, the other one doesn't have the uh we can have workflow table relations. One is a card page. Workflow table relations. And uh, under this workflow group, we'll also have uh, the approval user setup. It could also be the first one because probably a very key functionality in as far as setting up workflows is concerned. The approval user setup. Approval user setup, workflow user groups, workflow and uh, in the under the group of workflow, but we should also have workflows. Workflows, workflows. These are the workflows. I am forgetting the application area. Don't I want these things to display? Workflow, workflows. Yes. So the application area should always be there. Basic suit. And uh, that's how we are done with this group, the top group. We wanted to have one group that is not nested and the other one that is nested. But when you have so many actions under one, uh, uh, under one particular role sent, one, um, what is it called, the navigation bar, you don't want them to span to the right so much. You can now group them like I have done. I have done. So <clears throat> just for the purpose of grouping to enable it a uh, display. Uh, and then it in a good format so the navigation menu ideally we usually just set it up for um the area is embedding of course but we mostly mostly uh leave it for actions that are related to master pages that's the best way of trying to master tables that's the best way of using it master table is like customers vendors um uh, gl accounts mm jobs employee 
those are the, some of the master tables that you need to link it to this using this uh, navigation menu since it's a menu that will just open a list page that's the best use case for this navigation menu however for a, such a scenario we can have an exception nothing is cast on stone so uh, a page like user setup will be helpful to an administrator as well we could have a page like page like user setup is good another page that could be helpful here is a page like uh oh. sessions uh, probably for an, an administrator and maybe change log entries will be the last one sessions It's called concurrent active session session list and then we can have a page like uh, change log entries and change log change log entries i usually prefer using a caption that is same the action name is the same as the caption just to avoid uh, having to repeat it for every other action that has been created so we still should specify the application area for these actions <clears throat> and there's one thing that i should add here on top of this is which is the uh, area for setups because the administrator needs setups for maybe sales and receivable setup general ledger setup and all the same but since it's just a repetition of what we have done i don't think it's advisable for me to just repeat uh, that particular uh, aspect of the application but i'll go ahead and stop debugging because i think i was debugging and then build the application again and then run the application to change okay um, too fast huh? we need for each role center we need to assign the profile for the role center and there is an easier way of assigning the profile we can create it from the front end but we can also create a profile here and in the naming convention we just we we, we don't say profile we just say the system something like this system admin data the profile now defines it actually defines the name of the user who will be attached to that particular uh, function so we can call it the system administrator they need the caption to be system administrator and then the role center will be the system administrator role center so we have now assigned this role center to this profile of system administrator so once we open it we'll be able to see the code directly so why not about uh i'll try and post this code should i really post it no i should i won't post the code so that you can try it you can try it yourself because if i post i know most some people will try <laughs> To just copy paste so which is not advisable for now stop debugging build again so i've created my role center and my profile and the package has been created as it runs it is opening the debugger the current role that uh, is logged in is the project manager role center so you just go to my settings we need to find the system admin role center as a new profile system administrator is a new profile because it's already it by default it comes with that uh, system administrator and here is our role center with the navigation bar and the navigation menu so the users will have users user time registers and permissions and user groups and then the workflows now you see it has this workflow that is a group that has been nested you see very beautiful if you want to have a functionality where um, um this is where you, you are setting up a functionality where you want 
you have so many items under one particular group but you don't want to create to 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 uh, overcrowd them in one place you just create a group and nest them in another group and then it gives you this beautiful drop down that you can be able to use as well the users will give you now the links directly to the pages and remember once you click on this role center they open to uh, always open in this page or the content area of the role center so we have started with the navigation menu Na navigation bar and then the navigation menu all of these open under the uh, content area of the role center anything that is under those menus will open under the content area of the role center so the next thing that will go is the next video in the next video we are going to look at the actions area which will be right about right on this side so this action area will have a pop-up on top of this role center everything that is opening will be opening um will be like shielding this um uh, top of the role center please just practice the first thing is to know what the user what really affects the user what the user needs to be doing most oftenly and then the next thing is to define the order or the order of importance of the actions the most important will be to the left of this as the role center to the most left of this uh, uh the navigation bar and here the best use case for this is having the master tables for customers vendors jobs etc the tables that really define them the core functionality of a module and finally you can now be able to display them under the navigation menu so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video please stay tuned and may god bless you if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one